What's going on? Back again. Welcome on board to another episode. I know it's been a while, but I've been working behind the scenes on my second channel, which is actually a surprise. And I have a new coaching service that should be coming out very soon. And I'm just really excited to be launching these two projects. So without further ado, content is back. We're drop back to dropping regular content on a regular basis. And we're just going to jump straight into this video. So I know in the past I've spoken a lot about seal rows. And understand that as the years go on with the PG.coaching channel, my philosophies are constantly changing. So just because you watched a video of me in 2018, 2019, and I'm doing certain things in a certain manner now, it's because the channel is evolving, my philosophies are evolving, and I'm still gonna keep those videos up because it shows the evolution of the thought process and how my mind is just changing and my influences are changing, and stuff of that nature. So we're gonna jump into back training, more in particular upper back, lats, rear delts, that kind of stuff. You saw I talked about seal rows a lot in the past. You're parallel to the ground, so it's kind of like a penalty row, except you have a chest support. You have a whole torso support, and you're just rolling the bar up and down. Now, this is a great exercise. It has certain places, especially in the powerlifting world, I see it quite often. But if we're talking about back hypertrophy, we're talking about building the biggest back, biggest upper back, lats, or rear delts possible, I found a superior way to do this, at least in my humble opinion, where you get better weighted stretch, and you just get better contractions overall. And it's actually, if you look around right here, it's on a low incline bench. And you're gonna see in a moment why I like this. It's because on a low incline bench, first things first, on Instagram, I recently just made a post about how I stopped doing my chest support in rows with a chest support. So all these years, I was hopping on the chest support in row station, or the incline bench, with my chest, on the bench because it's called the chest supported row. But I recently learned from a bodybuilder that, or at least a new coach, and I got a Q&A dropping with him, stay tuned for that, that when you do your chest, quote unquote, chest supported rows with your chest off the bench, so it should be called like an upper ab supported row, like so, you get a way deeper stretch in the targeted muscle. So if you want to be upper back, flare out the elbows, if you want rear delts, 45, if you really want lats, it's close grip, so it's really dependent on what kind of grip you want to be using. But I'm just gonna get into it and show you guys why I like this so much. The loading potential is very high too. So you could be using pretty much the same amount of weight as your steel rolls, except you get better contractions, you steal your back so much better, you get a better reach, and it's not as uncomfortable as it looks. So grab you here. Some of you may be on your tippy toes, it's not the end of the world. You want to reach to get the serratus. More range of motion, better stretch, and now you're just gonna contract and squeeze. So. You want more lat focus? Neutral grip, right here. Make sure you reach on all variations. Upper back, a bit more here. You could also play around with alternating variations. These are great as well for more variability, more balance in your training. You can even do it at the top as well. The options are endless, just go heavy on these. You could be doing, for example, say hundreds per hand. On the incline rows, your upper back should be pretty thick. And let's say when you're on this low incline bench, if your feet aren't even touching the ground, the simple solution, just take plates. Take a plate here, take a plate here, take a plate here. And now your feet will be touching. If you're a bit taller, then you're all good. So what I really like about this is that you don't need any fancy boxes. You don't need to take the box jump stations and all that kind of stuff. All you need to do is set your bench to roughly 30 degrees. If it's not too comfortable for your upper ab region, take a thick mat, stick it here. This is a lifesaver, it makes it a lot more comfortable for me. And that's pretty much it. Get strong in this variation, and your upper back, your lats, 
the rear delts are really gonna thank you for it. So thanks for tuning in. Check out the next video and see you guys soon.